Hey, what's up guys? Doing a little bit of a vlog today in the garage. Uh, got a couple projects going on. Figured I'd give you guys an update and give you a little look into uh, a day in the life because today's an exciting day. The rear bumper and the tail lights are off of the 335. Tail lights are really only off because they needed to come off to get the rear bumper off. My gas cap's gone, but that's only because I needed it for a paint sample and the rear bumper's gone. So I'm pretty sure you can put two and two together. Uh, front bumper and rear bumper are never gonna go back on because I have new aftermarket bumpers going on that I ordered way back in March. Now it's August and finally took them to the paint shop about two weeks ago. Um, found the right match for my paint code, which is BMW W13 Atlantic Blue Metallic. Uh, and today the bumpers are finally ready to pick up, but even more exciting, I have more stuff going on. We've got the new three-piece wheels in the back of the wagon, which are also for the 335. And I ordered tires on eBay for them because I like eBay, it's really easy to work with. And I found the tires I wanted on there. Some Kenda Kaiser KR20As, 180 treadwear, super sticky, cheap tires. And those are actually in stock right now. They just landed at my US warehouse. I'm in Canada right now. The warehouse is like a 10 minute drive across the bridge into the States from here. So I'm gonna bring these tires up to the tire shop. I'm gonna go across the river into the US, into Michigan, grab my tires, bring those back to the tire shop, have them mount them up. And then I'm gonna go up to the paint shop and grab my bumpers. So uh, you could say it's all coming together. Okay, so I probably could squeeze all the tires and the wheels in here at once, being that it is a wagon. Wagons are awesome. They fit everything. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Pickup trucks, wagons are bigger. Moving vans, wagons are bigger. SUVs, wagons are bigger. 52 foot transport trailers. You could fit it all in a wagon, I swear. Uh, but I don't think you could fit four wheels and four tires in here without really cramming. So let's go drop these wheels off to Fountain Tire first. Today's Thursday. Let's see if they can't get those tires ready for me uh, by Saturday morning because this tire shop, they're open Monday through Saturday. So if they don't get it done by Friday at five, they have a little bit of extra time in there to get some other stuff done, which is why I started using them for some of these jobs. Um, if you look at when I showed you guys briefly, and I'll show you a better video. In fact, what I'll probably do is lay over a piece of video right here. And now you're gonna see the wheel spinning around in the sunlight. It's gonna look so amazing. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. Uh, that blue hardware that you see on there, that's from SRR Hardware in the UK. I was suggested their hardware by a friend of mine. Then a uh, mutual friend of the friend of mine told me it was crap. So I don't really know what's going on. Everyone's got an opinion. I guess we'll give it a try, but it is this uh, kind of this neat neochrome finish, um, which should match my lug nuts really well and also match my purple calipers and that Atlantic blue paint, kind of pull it all together. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, and um, I just finished installing all that hardware. I would say it probably took me like five, six hours. It was my first time torquing down the hardware on three-piece wheels, so I was pretty nervous and I took my time and uh, kind of developed a method. By the time I was on the fourth wheel, I think I got the fourth wheel done in like an hour. Um, it was a pretty cool process though. I've never done that before and it's actually really enjoyable. So I dropped off the wheels, got over into the States, and here's the tires. Kenda Kaiser KR20A. Got the 245 40s and the 265 35s. So I just dropped the tires off and found tire. Uh, unfortunately, he is not confident they're gonna have him done for the weekend. Uh, I kind of thought they would be done 
but I get it, it's the middle of the summer, so we can only hope for the best. Maybe they will be done, maybe not, but I'll, uh, I'll cross my fingers. Um, it was funny though, moving those tires just in the back, I've got like a, a little rubber uh, mat in the back of my car. You can kind of see it at the bottom of the screen. It's like a little workout mat. Anyway, just moving the tires on that, they were so squeaky. Uh, they're super, super, super soft, grippy tires. I don't know how long the tread's gonna last, but I think they're definitely gonna hook up. So now the back of the wagon is empty again, and I'm on my way up to Guy's Auto Body to grab uh, one bumper at a time, front and rear, and see how the paint came out. Super excited for that. I uh, can't wait to see them. Looks good in the sun. It looks just like the car. Yeah. That's awesome. Can we can we see the front one? Oh yeah, that's awesome. They both they both actually flip, eh? So we spray them like they're gonna be on the car. Okay. Not that it does on them, but see like even this one, they they, they flip. They what now? And they flip? They flip like that. so That's a nice that stand. Car, right? Yep. Yeah. This one has such a wide mouth at the front. It's going to look yeah. really good. That's awesome. Put it right through onto the front seat. I wonder if I can. Yeah. How much more do we need there? Heck, you're good right there. Is that good? Oh my gosh, you're good right there. How um how long would I have to wait on this to wax it? Honestly, by the by the weekend. Really? Well, because they they've been see like if it was winter. Yeah. Like uh, so they say paint at 70 degrees takes seven days to cure. 80, it'll take three and a half days. 90, it'll take less, right? Okay. So, I'll be honest, if you put them on the sun for one full day, they're almost fully cured after that. And then what about if you wanted to like ceramic coat it? Ceramic, I would still wait about two weeks for everything. That's it, eh? Yeah. I was once told like six months. Uh, Just because think. apparently it can still move or whatever. I don't yeah, know. I don't think so. I know what they're saying when you wax it and it's fresh, you see it seals it in, but. Well, there it is. Not gonna lie, it looks super dope. It doesn't have any of the clear coat feel like my old bumper, and it's way more aggressive. So I'm super excited to get this thing on. Super, super excited. 